Hey! Hey! What are you doing? That might have been the weirdest looking chicken I've ever seen. <laughs> was that not a chicken? Um, I'm pretty sure it was a red-haired chicken. You guys have weird chickens in Florida, that's all I gotta say. Well guys, that was kind of an interesting little sight. You may be able to tell, via that bird in the scenery, we are not in Maine. We sure as hell are in Texas. <laughs> we're doing a little bit of a trip in Florida. You know, and a lot of you guys were begging for more Maine content. But I had to thaw out a little bit. I had to get some warm weather, and honestly Texas was just as cold as Maine in some facets. So we've decided to actually go to Alex's neck of the woods. Alex grew up in, is it safe to say Tampa? You grew up a little bit everywhere, but like yeah. you spent a lot of time in Tampa. Yeah, just south of Tampa, Sarasota area, and I've spent, I don't know, a good five years of my life before moving off to Texas with you right. here. Yep. So this is, this is my home waters. And since Alex has started working with me and producing videos for you guys, he's been like, dude, you need to come to Florida, you need to come to Florida. I'm like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Like we had trips, I'm just like, I don't really care. But we finally got the opportunity to spend a week down in a place that, to be truthful, I've not gone to that much. Florida's pretty cool. The fishing obviously is like next level, legendary type And I just have never taken the opportunity to really explore this place. And we're actually gonna be linking up with some people that you probably will recognize. My good buddy, Elliot and Ray, who we fish with up in Nantucket. Coincidentally, he's spending his winter in captivity. The, the, the dude knows how to do it. He spends yeah. the summers up north and spends the winters down south. He's just killing it. But anyway, we're on the way to his place right now. Just kind of want to set the scene. We're going to spend a few days in Florida. So we're going to try to film every day for you guys, chasing after everything from like, you know, snook, maybe tarpon, shark, uh, redfish, even maybe some like bass. We're going to do some freshwater stuff too. Just try to get as thick into it as we possibly can. Oh, and just like that, we're pulling up to the bait store. So let's go pick up some gear, get situated for this little mini send, and just stick with it, stay tuned, enjoy the journey, guys. It's gonna be a good one. So we're at, if you, do you know this place? Yeah, like, I've, I've been to Whitney's. We're at Whitney's. I've never been to Whitney's before. I guess it's a pretty reputable spot. I'm not ready for Florida fishing, so we gotta get prepped. Yeah, this is, I like this room. I like that. Yeah, okay. Pretty sweet. Yeah. 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 I only wanted to buy some lures, and I ended up with rods. What the f man? We got two rods because I didn't fly with any rods this trip, and I got just like some essential terminal tackle. It's so funny when you go to like a tackle store in Florida, there's only a few things they have. They've got swim baits, top waters, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's 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 simple and easy, but for a good reason. All right, on to Elliot's place. We'll meet you guys there. How close are we? Uh, we are two minutes away. Oh, two minutes away? Yeah. Okay, this is insane. Are we, this is technically Captiva, right? We are now on Captiva. Wow, okay. First and foremost, I've never been here before. The houses. The houses. Let me tell you the houses. <laughs> Check out that one real quick. That's a complex. Dude, that's a that's complex. A, that's not a house. That's like a, that's like a YMCA facility back in that. <laughs> Definitely some money here in Florida. Would you consider this southern, yeah, central? This is southwest Florida. This is honestly the retirement community oh, yeah. of like Illinois, Michigan, Ohio. Every Midwesterner who's yep. got that Fetty <laughs> moves down here and just lives it up. Look at the gate on that, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. It's more of like a down to earth, low key Miami. Yes. Where like the people that own these big houses aren't like drug dealers or <laughs> anyone sketchy. They're just like older people with a ton of bank. This is wild. This is a cool place. So this is we're gonna be fishing for the next few days. We're gonna be hopping around in Florida. We're not gonna be just fishing Captiva for six days. That'd be boring. We're gonna fish here for a few. Obviously, rip it with the boys, Elliot and Ray, and uh, I don't know, just kind of get as much as we can in this area. Then move probably farther south. Or no, we're going yeah, yeah. way south. So we're gonna be on the southwest tip of the Florida Peninsula, okay. and then essentially making a forty to fifty mile run deep into the Everglades. I like it. Uh, I've never fished the Everglades too, so that'll be kind of a fun trip. I honestly, as a kid, I've always been to fish, but I never, I don't know, I just never had the opportunity. Is this it right here? I think it is. Oh, age, okay. Oh! That's his car. That's there's Elliot's car. Yeah, there's Elliot's car. I think we're at the right spot. I think we're at the right spot as well. We made it! <laughs> oh, this is a sweet little pad. Alright. Oh, this is just nice. I'm just gonna go ahead. Yeah. I think he's right up here. Yeah, look at the rods. Oh yeah, I think yeah. I think we made it to Elliot's spot. We got all the rods up there. <laughs> We're definitely in the right area. I'll see him. 
his trunk is open and his car is here. Hey! There they are. Found him. What's that happening? Got enough rods for you? Holy sh**, dude. <laughs> How you been? I'm great. Been good. Hey, good, good buddy. How you doing, man? How you doing, bud? How's Florida? Twenty thousand yeah, giant mullet just swam by the houseboat. Seriously, are you guys? I just found they're done. I ran and yeah. got the spear gun, and I was gonna try to shoot him. Can you shoot him? Oh yeah. So, uh, it's eh? it's pretty tough. Or... No, you can do it. Oh, you can. Yeah, when yeah. you don't lose the gun. Guys, familiar faces here. We've got Elliot and Ray. Ray's very far from home, and I guess like you're you don't even have you're this is this is your home for now. This, and this then... situation is. I can't even explain. Like, this guy, he's 90, he started Rapala. That's so weird. Yeah, like, so Elliot's kicking with yeah. the guy who started Rapala. Yeah. Wicked. Just such a weird coincidence, but we're going to be fishing with these guys for the next few days, drinking many of these, catching many of these right here, lots of sharks. What's like the one shark you guys have been fishing after most? Is it, is it sandbar? Mostly sandbars, but there's lemons, there's goliaths, there's black tips, there's bulls in the mix, and uh, some guy saw four hammerheads offshore. You drop a 25 pound bait, you sit there. It's gonna happen, anything's yeah. gonna pick it up, it's a shark. Yeah, right? we caught that state record bull though, 600 pound bull the other day. Holy sh Did you submit it? No, no you gotta kill, kill it. it. Still in Florida, you have to kill a fish, but can't you get like a length? Yeah, yeah. the length and record. the weight over, oh, this is my mom's dog. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi, it's Dixie. 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 Hi, Dixie. I'm turning the houseboat into a hotel for you guys. She's like, well, they could have that to sleep in. And she's she like, she's, it up. <laughs> wait till you guys see this thing. Elliot's working on kind of this really crazy project. You mentioned this, I think, when we were in Nantucket. You showed me a picture before you bought it, right? This thing was sinking. So basically. The boat was sinking? Yeah, it was like filled with this much water. Crazy story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I got it. And it was on a, it was on a mooring behind Captiva. I'd kayak out and I had to go pump it out. And I was sinking? Like, yeah. But like I saw it, like what this is gonna be, and wait till you see it, man. You'll get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah let's go yeah, check it. This thing is wicked. I'm, I'm assuming I haven't seen it yet in person, but like I'm imagining his vision. I have a feeling it's gonna be dope. This is a cool spot. Holy yeah. Oh yeah, like we're right on the water. I've been anticipating your arrival here, and Rain and I have been uh, going hard, preparing, ready for this. This is yes. cool. <laughs> is that a whole mullet? Mullet, oh, steak, everything you can possibly, every good shark bait possible. Wow, it smells good too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> even got iguana in there if you want it. Yeah. Can you throw it like that? Yeah, I guess you could. They're invasive. I'm sure, you could. I'm sure, you could <laughs> put an iguana on a hook. No. Those are a huge mullet. Dude, I know they're all huge. I don't think all I'm right. prepared. All right, no, perfect. every rod is ready to go. We got, wow. I just got a sharpened hook. We crushed it last night. You have no idea. Like, so just, just understand it's once it's got this nice, beautiful paint. It's gonna look world different. We have Paul paint. We're getting. I can't believe someone. What was the reason? It was just the guy didn't. He didn't give it. He, he, he bought it. For, yeah. He was a guy. He had a kid unexpectedly, and it was just going. I mean, it's been around for 48 years. The, the stories that I'm hearing about this thing from people, like the parties on here and where it was docked it's, up. It's it got like, some, some character. This, one of the guides referred to it as his stabbing cabin. Like, <laughs> like, all right, cool. I want to write a book about it, but this like shelling guide lady. Dude, I mean, just wait till you see it. Like, yeah, yeah. just. I mean, picture a fishing like a that fighting chair back here. Yeah, we have man. we have beams that we're gonna make this like a deck. We have sea and no one's really done here. anything like this before for no, sharks no, or nothing like it. So just summarize this: this is like a fishing party barge. I, I would say party is like a little too aggressive. I would say no, just like no, a, no, it, it's, it's like a not, not aggressive enough. Okay, <laughs> Ray's like, no, we're gonna rage. Just kidding. Party was uh was do, not doing it justice, but this thing is sick, man. And you got this, how long ago? A month ago, two months ago? Gosh, three months three ago months. now. But here's, yeah, the, yeah oh, come on, come on in here. My mom's in here. Getting all nice hey, for you. Going? I brought some clean linens up here because it's, I think it should be cold. It's planning to clean it. Oh, here. this would be amazing. Are you in charge of interior design? Is that <laughs> your, no. no. Mom, just let him go in the boat. Let him see <laughs> Like, Oh my yeah. gosh, this is awesome. Yeah. Come on. It's 15 feet wide. We're going to build like a little countertop up there. Yeah. I think all the curtains are going to be American flags, which is going to yeah, be awesome. That'd be really cool. Um, there's a bathroom, there's a shower, but under here there's two beds, which we're using as storage right oh, now. Oh, so you got bunk stuff in too? Yeah, there's two under there. Oh, I mean, dude. that's where we're we're still obviously working on it. But uh, this is kitchen countertop or yeah, yeah. yeah rigging table. Yeah. Like that. Well, what makes this boat is just like, come on up. This is an anchor down. So it's just terrible. Yeah. Um, and it creaks below you, but. Yeah. Hey, you won't go through it, don't worry. And you're gonna put this this type of wood like No, so we have these exact planks and they're painted gray. And then they're gonna go We're across laterally. Yeah, the long way, like, like, where the hell is where do you 
What's Captain Chair? Oh, so the helm goes tripping. up here. The helm? Oh, it goes That's up here. See it right there. there. Oh, it goes up top? Yeah, so you mount it up on top exactly of there. Exactly what? Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. But this like, is so cool. You just gotta get up here and you gotta like... Just see it, man. Yeah. I mean... Dixie, what are you doing there? So eventually, eventually the kind of end goal for yeah, this is... Watch her. She's where Elliot is going to basically yeah, have guide trips on this rig that's where you can make an experience right. out of it, which I think is so cool. Which When he sent the idea over, I think to obviously a lot of people, myself included, he was like, you know, what do you think of this? I'm like, I think this is it. This is what fishing is all about. It's what it used to be too. Historically, I mean, that's yeah. what all these mother ships for tarpon would do. Yeah. What you said they do all around the world. I mean, but this is something for this is something for fish that are seven feet plus that have teeth and it people are like you said it best. Like people love sharks. Honestly, people love sharks if not more as much, probably more than dolphins, which is so crazy to yeah. think. Oh, because sharks are like sharks fishes, just, you know, they yeah. they got me, like mega Thank teeth, you. and I think some people are afraid of sharks, but they're also very interested in sharks. Yeah. And that's what this is, is a, is a shark fishing boat. So this is really cool. I'm excited to see the progress of this. And honestly, I, I this is the first time seeing it in person. I'm like blown away. This is wicked cool. One thing I thought would be cool is because we're mobile, like, you know, you do the freshwater, the bass stuff. Yeah. Okeechobee is a 50 mile ride. Dude, you, this would be sick for Okeechobee. You know what you could also do too, what they do in the Amazon, is they have a barge like this, but what you do is you've got like two... I got my 16 foot boat. Yeah, you've got two 16 like foot boats, and then you go off and... Even the canoe. Bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. So paddle boards or something would be cool. It's just a different way to fish. It's exciting to me. I'm, I'm really... I'm pumped. Just being up here got me good. I'm not even like a part of this, and I'm pumped. Oh, these ones. I agreed to go on this trip because we were supposed to catch some shark on, on rods and reels. But then Elliot hands me a f***ing bucket with some jump rope. And now he says we're going to go handline some sharks. By the way, I think I've caught maybe five sharks in my entire life. Yeah. Two year what? How many sharks do you think you got? 1,300 I just hit. He just hit 1,300 sharks that he's landed. At least I'm in the presence of greatness here. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I don't even know what we're doing here. We're just going as hard as we can. We have 200 feet of rope to stop a giant shark. And it's not like you can control what bites it, you know? It could be a bull. You just gotta make some medieval looking thing you could tow a truck with here. Double, double wrap 400 to a, basically a freaking rope. It's funny, like I got, it's a $2,300 setup and then a $14 thing of rope in a bucket. And I'm like way more pumped about bucket. this. Yeah. So the reason I'm going so OCD with this is because one little fray in the wire and it rips your hand apart. So this is gonna go through the mullet's mouth and then out its eye and then we're gonna rubber band it. So like, you know, so, oh, you bend, like it's gonna rubber band like that. And then like it's the bait's this big. So it's uh. kind of taken off and we're gonna put a balloon probably. We are in action right now. This is the moment you guys have honestly been waiting for. The thumbnail, the title, all coming down to this point right here, hopefully. Is this the Atlantic or the Pacific? Uh, Indian. Okay, so it's, this is actually the Indian Ocean. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So we're, uh, we're on the scene right now. We're doing what Elliot knows how to do best, that being shark fishing. And not only shark fishing, but doing it on the most unorthodox situation ever. Usually when people will go for big fish, they go on a boat, they go on a giant 60 foot rig. But Elliot likes to either go from a beach, a jetty, or a dock, and today we're doing it on the dock. You are sitting on a bench right now, fishing for a fish that is probably bigger than that bench. This is pretty incredible. We've got the balloon out there. Oh my God. This Catching is peanuts, man. Hey, what's up with the peanuts? I know, man. They're pretty though, at least. They're, yeah, they're, they're like some of the better looking mullet I've ever seen. Shiny. As Elliot is sinking some big bait down below, Ray's on uh, peanut duty, getting a little. Yeah. Little mulletas, little mullets, and we're waiting on a big fish to come through. What time is it right now? 3.54 in Florida, and we are waiting a behemoth to come through. <sighs> now we sit and wait. Is that an inlet? Yeah, that's uh, pass. Pass, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Saw that. What's going on? Do you want me to sit? 
Set the, uh, is it, oh, yeah, you right. want me to set the hook? If it, oh, yeah. I would love to set the hook. I really yeah. want to give him the beans. Okay, so, oh, take it. So okay. it's not running yet. Okay. Sure. Oh, no, no, no he's, no, he's, he's yeah. running now. So the balloon broke off. Yeah. So let, let it totally go free spool. Free, totally, sorry. Totally free, totally free, free. Totally free, okay. Back up a little bit. Okay. How do you want me to set the hook? Talk to me here. Once you feel like it's pretty committed, so, yeah, I mean, so yeah, what? This is not. This is Next not a verse. So flip the fr oh, flip the drag. And whatever I want. Once it goes tight. Do I run back or like you like full back. Elliot you style? Go, I think you should. Yeah. Once once you feel it go tight, go for it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Eating good. Eating good. Eating good. Drop it. Is it still going? Is it still going? Uh, no, I tight, don't know. They usually come back. Yep, 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 yep. Let him, let him eat it more. Let him eat it again, let him eat it again. Yep, let him eat it again. There we go. There we go. There we go. He's eating it. Get tight on him. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah, get tight. Yeah? You say when? When you feel like it's committed, yeah, go. Send it. Hit it. Oh, yep, yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. So... What could I this mean, be? Shark, 100%. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. Oh, my God. Just fight it like any any other big fish? Yeah. Just. I mean, it's, it's way more drag on there than you think, too. So keep that in mind. But it is a heavy, heavy fish. What, what kind of line do I have in here? Yeah. Okay. You can give her the beans. I can give her the beans. Nice. Oh. Oh my God. Well guys, just a few minutes in Florida and we are fully hooked up. Fully hooked up. Shark tag and stuff here. Elliot is a shark oh, wizard. He can put, he can put a freaking Midwestern hey, boy him, on him eat, a fish with cool. teeth. Holy You shit. can actually oh, yeah. give him more. Crank down a little bit on the drag if you want. Yeah, say no more. He said crank down on the drag. I'm down. I'm oh, bottom. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, perfect, man. Bird. Thanks, man. Oh. Oh, not good. Was I putting too much on it? No. Okay. All right. Now we got to work. Okay. 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 $700 rod stick. I okay. back off a little bit. Okay. Okay. Didn't expect that. All right. got to fight this like. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, just, okay. So I got to be above yep, you. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. I'll just kind of walk back with him. I don't know. We keep reeling. Like, okay, keep okay. Far away. Okay. Uh, we can figure this out. We're gonna. Okay. okay. This way. <laughs> uh, we got problems. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll just reel on the slack. Yeah. Yep. I'll just reel on the slack. Reel, 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 reel. Yep. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! There goes the spool. Oh. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Let's try. Right here. Holy. Uh, Holy this is a gong show. Oh. Dude, I'm so sorry. Was I putting too much no, in there, no, 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 no. I'm so no, sorry. Right there, I did not mean to just destroy your... No, no, it's fine. You're it's literally good. talking. We're singing this Rod's praises. There, oh, there's another ghost. Group, there you go, there you go. Just stick it right there. Yeah. Right. Is there a two-piece? It'll fit. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, God. That's not going to hold. That's not going to hold. <laughs> sorry. No, they're just trying to keep it tight. Can we hand mine this thing in with the braid with gloves or what? Oh, this man, this is just this seems like a lot of yeah, work. No, I've got some. I got, wait, where's my own? Right here. Oh, dude, Can we just do this? Can I just, oh, you want me to handline him or no? Or what's. I don't want to lose this fish. Keep reeling. I am. I don't know. This place is broken right there. Right. Not there he is. Let me know if you need me to let some more drag. <laughs> <laughs> is this the first for you, bro? Is this the first? Mike? <laughs> Dude, definitely the first. I never on that boat. Holy oh, Bro, my <laughs> spine rattled when this thing broke. I was Dude, like, was what is going on? Okay. Uh, Elliot's on rod duty. I'm on real duty. I definitely have the uh, easier. You want to trade? Yeah, let's trade. Let's go. Good Dude, I almost walked away to go catch more. Did I miss that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no? What's going on? Oh, he's dumping. Oh, yeah. There we go. Real the slack, real the slack. Oh my 
my God. This is a very unideal situation. Um, hadn't really anticipated the first fish going like this today, but you just gotta roll with the punches. It's incredible that we're still hooked up right now. You want the audience, this is how you get an audience right here. Yeah, we got them. Yeah, uh, they're coming in. <laughs> but it's not just any, this is a $2,400 set. Like this is not. The reel's doing fine. Oh, it just got. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's fine, everything's okay, just watch the line. We need to break that guide off though. It's fine, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna get it. It's all good. Oh, this thing's coming in. Uh, Here, can I'll we get the yeah, break? Part. Break that. Wait, just break that off. In. Just break. <laughs> They're titanium guys. Real, 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 real. This is insane. This is insane. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible. This is incredible. You're walking over that way. Yeah. Okay. I'll over go over the pillar, piling. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let me uh, get situated. Okay. Yo, Ray, get a tag ready. We're tagging this thing. Oh yeah. I see where you tie the balloon. I think. You okay. Okay. Yep. She don't like that. What is it? You reckon? Big ass shark. Big ass shark. Oh yeah, you think? You see it? Yeah. I see it. I see it too. There's some flash. Okay. Oh yeah, he's right oh, there. Oh he's right there. What is it? Lemon or sand? Sandbar? Yeah. Yeah, good sandbar. Okay. Yeah, this what? Yeah, five and a half. Dude. You don't like that. You just bring up the big camera? Yep. Oh my god, it's a nice shark. Dude, that's a, that's a beast. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is a mental drop. Here we go. Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Let's Are you kidding me? How do you want to handle this? Right here? You sure? Oh my god, dude. All right, so someone else needs to hold. Oh. Ray, you want help? Okay. Okay, so. How do, how do, how the f we do that? I, I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. Want to cut it right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Help, I help you, out. you want me to cut while you're. Yeah, bolt cut it. Bolt cut it right there. Bolt cut the hook. Where at? Right there. Right, right, there. right there. You got it. Oh, I got it out. Oh. oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's just a miracle. Have you guys ever seen? Can I put that in the video? Is that right? No one yeah. knows who makes that rod. Yeah. Oh. We just landed a shark on a rod that not only broke once, but fucking twice. And we caught and released it. Didn't have to break the hook. Still got the hook. Still got the hook. What was that? Sandbar? Yeah. My first ever sandbar. I'm brain dead. <laughs> I'm shocked too. Here's I the mean, rod. Th hey. It's a three piece now. This is why shark fishing is insane. We just put a rod in three pieces. Oh, yeah, four. Oh, four, sorry. What's this, the second piece of it? So I pulled that out piece. and tried to jam it in there. Yeah, that, that looked like a good idea, but then this was shattered. Dude, that fish just put one and a half full grown men into oblivion. Let's do it again. Good thing another one is in the mail. Yeah, let's, let's do it go. again. Let's yeah. do it again. Right? Yeah, welcome to Florida, baby. 